The Ass and the Dog, by Jean de La Fontaine. Dame Nature, our respected mother, ordains that we should aid each other. The Ass this ordinance neglected, though not a creature ill affected. Along the road a dog, and he one master followed silently. Their master slept. Meanwhile, the ass applied his nippers to the grass, much pleased in such a place, to stop, though there no thistle he could crop. He would not be too delicate, nor spoil a dinner for a plate, which but for that, his favorite dish, were all that any ass could wish. My dear companion, Tozer said, tease as a starving dog I, ask it pray lower, down your loaded basket, and let me get a piece of bread. No answer, not a word. Indeed, the truth was, our Arcadian steed feared lest, for every moment's flight, his nimble teeth, should lose a bite. At last I counsel you, said he to wait till master, is himself awake, who then, unless I much mistake, will give his dog, the usual bait. Meanwhile, there issued from the wood a creature, of the wolfish brood, himself by famine sorely pinched. At sight of him the donkey flinched, and begged the dog, to give him aid. The dog budged not, but answered maid, I counsel thee, my friend, to run, till master's nap, is fairly done. There can indeed, be no mistake, that he will very soon awake. Till then, scud off with all your might. And should he snap you, in your flight, this ugly wolf, why, let him feel the greeting of your, well-shod heel. I do not doubt, at all, but that will be enough, to lay him flat. But ere he ceased it was too late. The ass had met his cruel fate. Thus selfishness we reprobate.